Robert Fisher was a, um, for all most intents and purposes, was a family man. Found within the home is what is believed to be an adult female and two children. You think that night they had a family fight and he decided that it was time to clean slate. We advise anybody who, who uh, may come into contact with them to just be cautious. How can anybody, a, a normal person, you know, stand over their child's bed and slit their throats? And then Mary Fisher's throat was also slit and uh, she was shot in the head. If there's a place called hell, then a Valley dad by the name of Robert Fisher has probably earned himself a front row seat. And on an overcast morning back in April 2001, horrified Valley residents had a front row seat as the twisted tale of Robert Fisher exploded on live TV. This house completely, completely destroyed. Being an ex-Californian, I thought it was an earthquake. The living area is collapsed. It took us probably about 25 minutes to put out the fire. And in the ashes of what was once the South Scottsdale home of Robert Fisher, his wife Mary and their two children, 10-year-old Bobby and 13-year-old Brittany, the grisly discovery. Mom and the two kids found slaughtered in their beds, and the home then rigged like a bomb to cover the killer's tracks. At this point, we now know that it is a triple homicide. What he did in the house was he severed the gas line inside the home and put a candle at the other end of the home and rigged it as a bomb for it to eventually go off and incinerate the house. For the last seven years, FBI Special Agent Robert Caldwell has headed up the search for Robert Fisher, a man now on the FBI's notorious 10 most wanted list, the phantom fugitive who allegedly wiped out his family and then fell off the face of the earth. And he disappears until 10 days after the home blew up, we find Mary Fisher's vehicle up in the Tonto National Forest, uh, just uh, north of Young. And in those early days, high hopes of catching Fisher after wife Mary's SUV and the family dog found abandoned on the Mogollon Rim. Those are the contacts. One of the largest manhunts in Arizona history then immediately launched, but in the end, Robert Fisher, a trained firefighter and lifelong outdoorsman and hunter, able to elude the many hunters who are now hunting him. He's a loner. He, he's the kind of guy that can go out and live on his own. He doesn't need a support system. He's very self-centered. Uh, he can basically be out there on his own, doesn't need anyone's support, doesn't need to contact family. But of course the family left behind grief-stricken by the alleged acts of Robert Fisher. Bill Cooper is Mary Fisher's dad and in the early days the family spokesman. God loved them, he saved them, and I know they're in heaven with them now. And while the whereabouts of Robert Fisher remain a mystery, his alleged murderous motives seem pretty clear. As a child, Robert Fisher was reportedly abused by a step-parent following a divorce and vowed as an adult that he would never subject his children to that. But when wife Mary began to weary of Robert's abuse and control, suspecting her husband of having an affair, she threatened to leave. And instead of losing his family to divorce, Robert allegedly decided to kill them. What a coward. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, in interviews, uh, Mary Fisher's father says the best. He's not a man, he's a monster, and he is. And for his part, FBI Special Agent Robert Caldwell says he's committed to continuing the search as long as it takes and wherever it may lead. He's out there, and he's always looking over his shoulder, and one of these times he's going to look over his shoulder, and it's going to be an officer with handcuffs, and that'll be a great day for law enforcement.